Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita and I'm back with another video. So in this video, you guys, I want to show you how I'm helping my clients get their credit score over 200 points. So for those people, you know, you watched my video yesterday, you had the, the client, you seen a video yet there yesterday where she said she got over 260 points and she got a bank rest removed. She got, you know, credit cards now. I want to show you exactly how I'm doing that so that you guys can actually implement this yourself. Don't forget, I have my exclusive memberships. So you can get all of my training, all of my learning, and all you have to do is just sign up for just a dollar. And on top of that, if you have negative accounts in your credit reports, you guys can get the free credit repair so that you guys can start removing those negative accounts. But I also, outside of you guys joining the membership and us doing it for you, if you want the free credit repair, it, I want to show you guys exactly how you can start removing those negative accounts too because that's the first thing i want you guys to start doing so i have some old letters that i actually did for a past video example here we're going to go over that go, go over these in a second but let me show you the first thing i want you to do so when it come down to removing accounts from your credit reports you really need to remove your personal information from your credit reports like seriously when i say your personal information I mean, you may see that you have multiple addresses, multiple names on your credit reports. You have to get all of that deleted because that can increase your credit score just by removing those accounts there, those different names and those different addresses. The only reason why that will, will help increase your credit um, score is because now you will show that you're more stable. You only have that one address. And if you have any like negative accounts that's tied to those addresses, some of those negative accounts are going to just start falling off your credit reports, like those collections that you may have, those charge offs. So let me show you the letter that you have to actually send into the credit bureaus. So this is the letter here that you'll send into the credit bureaus and you want to send it into all three credit bureaus, but you want to know like what personal information is actually on your credit reports. So you can get your credit reports for just a dollar um, through Identity IQ, you guys. I'm going to make sure I have that down below too. You get all three of your credit reports. They'll tell you your addresses that's in your credit reports. And after you get those addresses, you know what um address they have you want to start removing those right away now all you have to do is just fill in your first and last name your current address your social security number your date of birth put the date in and then also which credit bureau you send this to don't forget i told you you want to send this to all three credit bureaus so most likely you're going to want to copy this letter three times now like i said if you're part of exclusive membership this is what i'm when i tell you guys to send me a copy of your id copy of your social security card this is why so that i can remove all this from your credit too because you really need to remove this information from your credit reports so yeah you want to copy that letter three times so that's what i'm doing now i'm copying it now and then you want to plug in the addresses that they may have for you. So you want to plug in all the addresses that they may have for you that you know that you messed up at. So if you know you had collections at the address, you really need to put those addresses down. <laughs> and two, you may have different names. Like these are um, different names than even the full name. Let me show you what the full name was before. So here is the name again. Here's the wrong inaccurate names. But here's the correct name, Christine S. Jackson. We got Chris Jack, Chris S. Jackson. We got Christine S. White. For those people that may got married or maybe um, you still got your married name on there and you want to put your maiden name on there, you really need to remove those different names from your credit reports. And you want to start seeing, like, when you start removing them accounts from your credit reports, you're going to start seeing your credit score really jump up. You're going to start seeing a great increase in your credit score. Now, outside of just removing, like, your names, addresses, you may see, like, different date of births on there they might say you have multiple date of births multiple social security numbers you want to remove that also so add that to this letter also and then these little asterisks these little marks right here these little stars that's where it's some information on the letters that i have people sent out that's information that just blurred out it won't actually be stars there you guys it's actual information but if you're part of my exclusive membership you'll have the correct letters but you'll plug it in just the same. Now, I told you guys, if you have negative accounts on your credit reports, like collections, charge off, bankruptcy, foreclosures, um, student loans, late payments, whatever 
on there that's negative, you need to get removed, you'll fill out that same type of letter. So with your name, your address, social security number, date of birth, and then you'll start listing the accounts that you need to get removed from your credit reports. And these accounts are actually just, re they were actually just copied. So let me go back. Cause this is the person I was actually using their credit reports as an example. They're just copied from Credit Karma for those people that, you know, wonder like, well, how did you get the names? I looked on TransUnion and Equifax and then I copied these names that's on here. I copied that onto the letter. And this information that's right under that name, that's the information that's already gonna be on the letter. You just copy and paste that too. So yeah, you guys, all you have to do is just put these accounts in here. I know this is kind of like a crash course, you know, going into it. Definitely sign for the exclusive membership. It's only a dollar and you'll have greater details on how to actually do this. And again, if you sign up for the membership, you know, during the trial, it's a seven day trial, you sign up for it. If you don't want to do these letters yourself, you can have us do it for free. It's nothing for us to actually go ahead and do the letters. It'll actually be cheaper for us to just go ahead and do the letters because we don't have to, you know, take that time to educate. We already know what we have to do. Let us go ahead and knock it out. Now, outside of removing accounts from your credit reports, you really need to add accounts to your credit reports. So let me show you a few accounts that I suggest. So I always tell people, depending on your credit, if your credit score is over a 580, go with Capital One and get their platinum and get their quicksilver capital one would allow you to have four credit cards so go ahead and go with capital one they'll allow you to have four credit cards so go ahead and get the platinum and get the quicksilver and like i said over 580 get these credit cards now they're going to pull your transunion and equifax credit report so keep that in mind but over 580 credit score get both of these cards when you get accounts added to your credit reports you're going to see a great increase in your credit score so definitely add these two cards if you don't have any credit cards and you need credit another thing if you guys have bad credit under 580 and you still need a credit card you're like wait rikita i still need a credit card get their secure mastercard and the only reason why i say get their secure mastercard is because when you it's a secure credit card where you usually have to put 200 dollars down but depending on your credit they may tell you hey just put 49 dollars down or even 99 dollars down or even 200 dollars down and they'll send you that secure credit card and they'll consider you for a higher credit limit. So they'll increase your limit and send your money back in as little as six months. But you really need to just keep paying your bills on time and keeping a balance low too in terms of if you were to buy something, you have a $200 credit card. I tell people don't spend more than $10 on it. And if you were to spend more than $10 on it, when it's time to pay your bills, pay everything but $10. So make sure that when they're reporting, they're not reporting more than $10. And that's a whole new class on reporting. But just make sure that you keep the balance on your credit card. Don't spend more than 5%. Just keep that in your head. Now, these, this is Capital One. Another credit card I always tell people to try for is credit one bank because they're going to look at your experience credit report and i've seen a lot of people that couldn't get any credit card they got this credit card now sometimes the annual fee can be high on this credit card keep that in mind but i like that some people can still get a credit card and i've seen a lot of people even after um, bankruptcy really boost their credit by going with credit one bank you guys so definitely look into credit one bank and then they even have a spot right here where you can see if you pre-qualify so Click right there, see if you pre-qualify, fill this out, and they'll let you know whether you pre-qualify for that credit card. Now, I know I'm telling you guys about different credit cards, um, that's regular credit cards, but if you need a secure credit card, you know your credit is really messed up. I mean, it's under that 580 mark, you guys. Go with these secure credit cards like the Credit Builder card. This card right here, they're going to report to the Credit Bureau before you even get the card. Now, one of my clients, his credit score went up over 80 points. 80 points, you guys. It actually went up 87 points. I didn't want to um, be incorrect when I said that, but his credit score went up 87 points when he signed up for the Credit Builder card and actually reported to hit the credit bureaus. Now, they allow you to have two cards. I always tell my clients, when you first start off, you want to have four cards total at least. 
but they'll allow you to have two. So that means you're halfway there if you go ahead and sign up for the credit builder card. The, they're not going to check your credit, so that's good. And it's only a $200 deposit required. Some cards will require $500. This one only requires $200. And on top of that, they'll allow you to get two of them. So definitely, you guys, look into sign up for the credit builder card. They're going to report to all three credit bureaus. You can sign up in, in as little as two minutes. And then two, no credit score approval. So it don't matter what your credit score is, they're going to hook you up. So definitely go ahead and look into sign up for the credit builder card. And like I said, even before you get the credit card, they're going to report to the credit bureaus. Capital One, they're not going to do that. When you get your card in the mail and you use it, you get your first bill, that's when they're going to report. So that can be over a month. Um, when it comes down to Credit One Bank, they're going to wait the same time. You need to get that credit card in the mail. You need to spend it. You need to get a bill. And then they're going to report to the credit bureaus. And like I said, with the credit builder card, like two weeks, you guys, they're going to start reporting. So that's really good. And if you need another secure credit card, maybe look into getting a kickoff account. Like, look at this increase right here for a kickoff account. I always tell people to get the kickoff account because it's great. Like a kickoff account is technically at first they had a free account that you could sign up for, but now they have the account where you can just buy something for as little as $10 and they'll report a $500 credit account onto your credit reports. So it looks like you have a $500 credit card. And I'll show you what that looks like because this person actually has that account on their credit reports right now too. So let me show you, and look, they just had a great increase from July all the way to September. Look how much it went up. It was at 536 to 610. Y'all don't play with these different tools. Y'all really need to do this seriously. But let's look at the credit card right here. Here's that kickoff account right here. They're reporting a $500 account. They've been reporting it for, for months now. So definitely, you guys, will look into um getting this kickoff account they're going to report a five hundred dollar account on your credit reports that's what this this is that's that kickoff account that's the one i'm telling you about right here and it's free in terms of signing up for it and they're not going to check your credit you can sign up but then you have to buy something for the next report but you can buy something for as little as ten dollars so definitely you guys check that out i really love them now if you're the type of person where your credit is really bad but your banking is good in terms of you getting money in your account Account, you not have any late payments or overdrafts to your account and you know you have a lot of money coming in maybe you want to look into getting a two more credit card so I have I have actually got all of the accounts that I already showed you before I had them in the past and I also got this account still I still have my two more credit card but when you guys sign up for two more they can approve you all the way up to ten thousand dollars with no credit check they're going to actually just look at your banking history and when they look at your banking history they're going to decide on how much they want to approve you for so when i actually did my pre-approval they said i was approved up to five thousand dollars so definitely you guys check them out um check into getting the two more credit card but remember this is going to be with your banking if you got late pay you know your account been overdraft and you know you don't have that much money coming in you haven't even had that account for a long time then don't even mess around with this account but if you've been you've been good what you need to be doing you know in terms of you don't have any overdrafts definitely look into this account this will be a lifesaver for you like seriously so i want you to make sure that you're adding accounts to your credit reports and if you have any credit cards like if you say if this was one of the credit cards that you have if you have credit cards pay down the balance on your credit cards if you guys pay down the balance on your credit cards you're going to see that your credit score really go up so you can see right here if you guys go to credit karma you'll see like the tips do not do you see this red red yellow and green they're going to start telling you hey you're in the green right now using zero percent but as soon as you go over 29 percent, it's yellow that means that it's going to start hurting your credit at that point so don't go over 30 percent, no matter what but make sure if you can you know be at your best keep it under 10 percent. so they say try to stay under 30 percent. under 10 percent is even better and remember you um you don't need to carry a balance on any of your credit cards to build any credit so don't think about i need to carry a balance on my credit card to build credit 
No, you guys, just really just don't max out your credit cards and keep that credit card there. You'll be fine. So that's another thing. Make sure you guys pay down your credit cards if you have some. Now, if you find somebody that has a credit card and you know maybe they can add you as an authorized user that will be a great thing now some people i really don't suggest it for everybody but some people i tell them hey you may want to look into adding a trade line to your credit report so i always look on this website tradelinesupply.com you guys and all this is is people saying that they're going to add you to their credit card and when they add you to their credit card, their, their credit history is going to report to your credit report. And when they report, it's going to look like, like right here, it's a $2,000 limit credit card. It's going to look like you got a, um, a $2,500 credit limit. And it's going to report to on your credit reports. And it's going to really boost your credit score up a lot. So I always tell people, like, seriously. Like, don't play. If you really need a great boost to your credit score because you're trying to buy a house, trying to buy a car, or whatever you're trying to do, you want a quick boost. Don't forget, these are not going to stay on your credit reports for a long time if you were to go to, like, a company like this. It may stay on there for 60 days, sometimes not even that long. But it's enough time for you to actually go ahead and, as soon as they report to your credit report, go ahead and apply for that house you want. Go ahead and apply for the card you want. Apply for more credit cards that you want. Now, the same way you see these different trade lines here where you can pay somebody to add you. This is a stranger, but it's a company. You could pay them to add you to your um, add you to their credit cards. You can also have a family member do the same thing. So that's when I say add you as an authorized user. If you get added as an authorized user, say if your cousin had a credit card with Capital One with a five thousand dollar limit, if they add you, it's going to be the same effect. You guys, you're going to see your credit score go up a lot. So maybe if you have a family member and look at that credit card too in terms on their credit reports are they maxing out that credit card because you want to keep the balance really low if they're maxing out their credit card it's going to hurt your credit so make sure that they're doing that rule like i told you guys keep it under 10 percent and if they're doing that you may want to go ahead and get added as an authorized user because it's going to build your credit now if they have late payments you do not want to be added but like i said add get added as authorized user to credit cards and you guys will be so happy that you did but they keep popping this up you guys saying go ahead and sign up don't forget if you guys need help to remove accounts from your credit reports similar to this and you want these letters that i'm showing you right here sign up for my exclusive credit membership like i said you have so much information that's going to be inside exclusive credit membership in terms of like letters that you can use to get accounts removed i mean late payments charge-offs bankruptcies repossessions whatever is negative on your credit reports there's a letter on there that can actually help you to remove it from your credit reports so go ahead use that link to sign up for just a dollar and these are you know a lot of easy tips to boost your credit score over 200 points in 2021 2022 2023 for on for so on you guys Stick to these basic things. Have your credit cleared. Make sure you have at least four credit cards. You don't max out your credit cards. And if you need an extra boost and you need it quick, get added as an authorized user to somebody that has a high limit credit card and a long history. Or you can also just buy a trade line. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.